Okay, so let's see. I wanted to um, look at so Invictus Games is now trending even higher than um, Prince Andrew. Gloria Steinem is trending. Duchess Megan is trending. Okay, so I wanted to look at Prince Andrew because his story seems to be getting hot. Um, it's almost midnight. Okay, um, midnight, so it will be 6 o'clock in New York. But I don't think the award show would be starting before at least 8, so I'd have to stay up for another two more hours to catch it live with Megan getting her award. Okay, so we'll see. Prince Andrew is trending on Twitter. So what is it saying here? Our sister Megan, instead pushing that stale, unfounded rumor about Prince Harry, you better check on the paternity of Zara and Prince Andrew. Oh, okay. I am not getting involved with that tonight. Who cares if Prince Andrew gets evicted from Royal Lodge? It's the sense of entitlement I find staggering. Like, isn't he old enough to buy his own home? If he paid for the lease, fine, fight for it. But if not, just move. Oh, wow. Prince Andrew demands face-to-face -face summit with King Charles as he has no plans to move out of Royal Lodge. Hmm. This is an interesting showdown between the brothers. I mean, my position is unchanged. I mean, as I said before, I am not an, an Andrew fan. And I was not an Andrew fan. And after his daughters were seen publicly hugging Piers Morgan... And my sense that Fergie, his wife, consort, whatever she is, makes a habit of talking out of both sides of her mouth, I stopped even trying to to understand them. So anything I say on this is not a it's not coming out of a place of me trying to understand them. It's just what I just basically think, you know, no matter who they they were in this particular situation. And so what do I think about this situation, notwithstanding that it's Andrew? As I said yesterday, I think that I think that it's greed on the part of King Charles, Camilla, Kate, and William to toss Andrew out of his house. He has lived in his house for 20 years, and I think he has a reasonable expectation that this will continue to be his home until he dies. Whether or not for somebody who's not in the royal family, um that this seems reasonable or 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 fair is 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 not really the controlling question the controlling question is what what has andrew been led to believe would be the situation with his residence you know what are his expectations, are those expectations reasonable, and what is the basis of those expectations? I think, under the circumstances, this house was given to him 20 years ago by his mother, the queen. He has a lease, apparently, that has several decades left on this lease, right? His place of residence should not, at this point after 20 years, have anything to do with legal issues into which he finds himself. Everybody finds themselves in legal problems from time to time. This is not a basis 
to take someone's home that they have had for over 20 years, right? To me, that is mixing up your issues. He does not cease to need a place to live just because he has legal issues. And tossing him into the burial ground site called Frogmore Cottage just because he's had these legal issues, to me, is not appropriate. One has nothing to do with the other. And behind that, you saying that it's because you need it for William makes this even worse because William already owns three homes, including Kensington Palace, Anmer Hall, and this other place where he lives, which I can never remember the name of it, okay? Plus, he apparently is on the waiting list for Frogmore House, as distinguished from Frogmore Cottage, and Windsor Castle, according to the article I read yesterday. This is a lot of real estate for one person. He does not need Royal Lodge on top of it. So this is a pretext. This is not the reason that you're trying to evict Andrew. You're trying to evict Andrew for other reasons. Either it's a power play or Camilla wants them out because she has beefs with Fergie. By throwing Andrew out, you throw Fergie out. That's what that is about. I don't like this right? There's such a thing called adverse possession. You waited too long to ask him to leave, you being the monarchy, right? The monarchy waited too long to ask him to leave. And I think at this point, he has a reasonable expectation that this is his primary residence until the such time that he hands it back to the monarchy through his death, or he finds someplace else that he wants to move um, and to live more than he wants to stay at Royal Lodge. This is my position on this issue, right? Moreover, the, the legal problems that he had, as unpleasant and or as dirty as they are, these this was not adjudicated, but it's a settled matter. It's settled, right? He took care of it. He paid for it. You know, Charles does not have the right to continue to prosecute this man for these crimes. This has been, it's raised judicata. It's raised judicata, right? He settled the matter. Leave it alone. Now you're going to toss him out of his home as, as, as added punishment, as if you're God. You're not God, Charles right? So I don't like this. And the number of houses that the monarch has and the monarchy owns is staggering. You don't need Royal Lodge. You have many, many homes that you can offer to William if he needs a fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth home. You don't have to give him Andrew's home. Now, if Andrew loses the money that he makes every year and cannot afford the home, that's a different issue, right? He can't find enough to pay for the house. I mean, I'm not saying that you're, you're, you that Charles is, you know, required to or is obliged to keep Andrew on the payroll if he feels that Andrew is unfit to be on the payroll. That's a different issue. If Andrew can afford to pay for the house, house himself, whether through Fergie's jobs or book deals or whatever then I think he should keep his house. He has a lease. His, his home and his living circumstances and his dwelling have nothing to do with the situation he got himself in 25 years ago with this woman. It just doesn't. That's my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. What, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this, whoever you are listening to this? I mean, do you think that because you have a legal problem in a different context, that your landlord should kick you out of your, your home, even though you've been paying your rent, etc., 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 especially even considering that you, you settled this legal matter, whatever it was, whatever it was, because we all have to live somewhere, right? Moreover, Charles, I mean, I mean is, is he a, a, the, the, the patron saint of, of what? Now you're the head of the Church of England, you're God, right below God, you, you, you have no sin, right? 
I, you know, Andrew, as I said, I mean, I'm not an Andrew fan. I mean, he, you know, I don't trust him. But I'm just saying, you know, if he were anybody at all, I'd say the same thing. Leave the man alone in his house. Your thoughts.